our institute is known for laser material processing and surface technologies. And we uh, use this knowledge and this expertise in the field of battery applications. All kind of mobile applications are uh, profiting from, from this next generation batteries. And of course, the main driver is automotive industry. And this requires new developments along the full value chain uh, for the battery cell production from material producers over uh, machine manufacturing uh, up to the cell, actual cell producing. I'm leading a team for chemical coating technologies and we would like to revolutionize the world of battery coating. And I'm a material scientist at heart and um, yeah, my group addresses the structure property relations of battery materials. And I'm heading the team of battery technology and laser cutting is a technology allowing us to process lithium metal anodes. The Advanced Battery Technology Center, uh, we develop new materials and new technologies for future generation batteries. We combine uh, in our team knowledge on ba fundamentals, basic uh, knowledge on materials and electrochemistry, uh, but also processing and uh, engineering. And with this, we are able to provide our customers the capability to really develop new materials and evaluate new materials uh, and benchmarking them to the state of the art. So here at IWS we are working on next generation batteries and for these type of batteries we need to develop innovative materials, material concepts and also electrolytes. And uh, it's important to really characterize this material in a sensible way. We regard um, the material always in the context of a multi-layered pouch cells, even at an early stage of the characterization. And this is actually our unique selling point, or one of our unique selling points. And consequently, we can bridge the gap between academic research and industrial application. And this means that uh, we need to think about how the material is electrochemically utilized, but also how it can be processed and how it can be really implemented. So uh, a very um, promising candidate for next generation batteries is the all solid state batteries. So processing of powders and understanding the property structure relation is very important to make these, this type of battery viable. We have developed our so-called dry track process. With dry track, it's possible to create battery electrodes without water or any solvent at all. State of the art lithium ion battery production involves wet chemical processes for the electrode coating step. The wet film has to be dried in up to 100 meter long dryers, which is a very energy and space consuming process step. Yeah, since dry track is a dry coating process, we don't need water or any solvent at all. And especially toxic solvents, which are used in the state-of-the-art processes, can completely be eliminated. Active materials, binders and carbon additives are mixed and fed into the nib of two rotating calendar rollers. One roller has a higher rotational speed and Due to this higher rotational speed, a dry film is forming on the faster rotating calendar roller. Subsequently, the dry film is transferred from the calendar roller to a primer current collector foil. From our partners, we receive a very positive feedback in terms of the technology readiness level of our systems. Here at our labs at IWS, we have dry track coating equipment on which we can process battery electrodes with speeds of up to 10 meters per minute. Dry track can pave the way for efficient and green future battery electrode production. 
It's a green process, it's cost efficient, on a small footprint and new materials can be processed. For next generation batteries like all solid state batteries, very thin lithium metal anodes of just a few micrometer thickness with a very defined surface chemistry are required. And our approach is to reduce the thickness on the anode to realize a high energy density battery. New technologies are required to prepare these kinds of thin and pure lithium metal anodes because with traditional methods like rolling uh, we cannot uh, go thinner than maybe 20 micrometers. Our innovative melt deposition process is a very efficient process. We are able to create a very thin lithium metal coating of just a few micrometer thickness. Our melt deposition technology is considered to be one of the leading technologies for thin and pure lithium metal anodes. In our labs we develop a lot of materials which are quite new and have a high potential to be used in next generation type of batteries. Right behind me you can see a stacking machine but on the other side you also can see a laser cutting device. At Fraunhofer IWS we have a long term experience in processing materials with lasers. And laser cutting has big advantages and you can just easily adapt to different materials. So it's not only suitable for processing state-of-the-art lithium-ion battery materials such as uh, NCM or graphite electrodes, but also for next generation type of batteries such as lithium metal. So lithium metal is uh, very difficult to, to, to be punched uh, with state-of-the-art punching processes and therefore we have developed a process being used in our lab allowing you uh, a contact-free laser cutting ending up with a very high quality cutting edge. In our center we not only develop materials but also technologies to process these materials into pouch cells and pouch cells are very important to set up because uh, this allows us to, to test application relevant uh, scenario. In our labs we perform different tests uh, under various conditions in order to characterize cell performance for our pouch cells. Each material which is developed or even tested in pouch cells uh, has to be um, evaluated electrochemically and therefore we need to test and this is also the reason why we have so many opportunities to test uh, either cycle life or C-rate performance, uh, internal resistance, temperature dependency or um, which uh, external pressure has to be applied. And uh, this is crucial because we, we are using next generation type of anodes such as lithium metal or silicon. And therefore uh, we have to face all the issues in terms of uh, volume expansion. The Advanced Battery Technology Center, uh, we develop new materials and new technologies for future generation batteries. We support our partners to transfer new technologies into the industrial application.